I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man can come to God except by me. There is no alternative. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. And may that truly be our song when we see the Master. Yeah. It's still the series, what to expect and how to respond. It's a sub theme of what we've been dealing with over the last few weeks around getting ready for the Master's return. This is Builders with God Ministry, our on-air ministry view from the top. My name is Ade Dunu Uba. It's my pleasure to invite us to join Pastor Dele Oyeleru as we carry on with this thing. Thank you, Ade. God bless you. Amen. And thanks for joining us again. Um, I had mentioned that we'll be looking at what is happening and what to expect these mm. are these how we should respond mm. and uh, one of the things that we mentioned before now was that uh, seduction answers to lo to, lo to lust in the flesh mm. and the lust that is locking our flesh we have to learn how to handle it if we are not going to give it to seducing spirits mm. so now that we know that seducing spirits will be there to woo people away from Christ. Mm. What do we do with our lust? Mm. Those are the things we want to take that response okay. before we proceed in that, that uh, first Timothy chapter 4 okay. that we have been on for some time now. Uh, what do we do? Number one, we have to recognize our lust as what they are. Mm. We have to know them as lust. Mm. And you know, there are, when I say lust now, the only thing that comes to some people's mind is uh, uh, sexual issues. That is correct to some extent, but largely speaking of it, lust actually means more or less like sin in its potential form. Mm. From what we read in James 1, from James chapter 1, 13 to 15, when sin is in its potential, it's about to launch out, it's about to arch, it is called lust. Actually, the word in Greek they call lust, uh, we have in different uh, forms, we have epithumia. We have uh, a bitumio. One means the desire that a man has, whether for good or for bad. Then the other means a longing for something that is forbidden. Mm. That thing that incites a man mm. to want to do that thing that you are yeah, asked not to do. Don't do. We all can relate to that. Sure. <laughs> we all have experiences. Mm. Uh, that thing that makes stolen water to be sweet, in short, mm. Mm. that is what lust is. That thing that makes us to think that we are being denied something. Mm. You know, there is what they call FOMO, mm. fear of missing out. When you, you are, that's what makes people to wake up and pick their phones. Mm. That's what makes them to be checking Instagram on the road. Mm. They just want. They don't want to miss out on anything. Mm. It's called fear of missing out. Mm. And that is part of what affects us when we are dealing with the issue of lust. Lust, is, its intention is to make you to please you. Mm. And you have to call it by its name, identify it. That's where mm. the solution starts from. Recognize that this is something that is making me to go against the will of the Father. And I'm not going to have it. Mm. Rather than looking for scriptures or preachers, or churches that will validate your lust. Because the truth is, let me tell you, Ade, mm. no matter what lust you have, you will have many mm. churches and pastors that will validate it for you using mm. the scriptures. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. But I always tell people, uh, moderation is a range, mm. and everyone knows it. Mm. Mm. It's mm. when we want to have an agenda. To be, <laughs> that's when we, we say, where to me it is moderate. Mm. But every man knows that range. range. Every man knows. But when we want to be deceptive, mm. we say, as for me, mm. it's okay that I like that. This is my truth. This is, this is my world. <laughs> Don't go there yet. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. You have to also name 
you are lost rightly. We are mm. talking about to deal with lost. Mm. Because the main thing is about preparing, getting ready. Mm. Now that you know these things will come, how do I equip myself against them? How do I defend myself mm. against these things that are going to be prevalent in this time? So you have to name them accurately. Mm. I am losting after this. This is covetousness. Mm. This is murder. I am, I am breathing in my mind. Mm. If we do not, if we are not that true to with ourselves, mm. it will be difficult to receive God's help. Mm. That's where it starts from. Because those are the things that lost, I mean, uh, delusion. Uh, that's what lost uh, speaks to okay. in us. Okay, understood. Yeah. So it's good when you have recognized that it's good for you to have an academic partner. In this area, I'm, I'm always tempted to take people's money. I'm always tempted to use money put in my custody for my personal use and look for a way to, to raise receipt to cover it. Hmm. You know, you need to have an accountability partner that will help you because a battle you are fighting all by yourself, hmm. there's how far you can go. Hmm. Especially when nobody knows you are going through it. So mm. nobody will hold you accountable. Mm. So if you fail, you just tell yourself, thank God nobody knows. Mm. You know, it's a between me and God. <laughs> God will forgive. Mm. But the sin is getting mastery over you. Mm. You are yeah. losing mastery over your life. Mm. The Bible says you are a slave to whatever you submit yourself to. Mm. Romans 6, 16. Mm. So that is, that's, that, you are losing grants mm. to that lust. And before you know it, by the time the right lust speaks to it, it connects. Mm. And then you see people coming out with different philosophies. Mm. And they begin to project different God, mm. preach different gospel, while still claiming that they are Christians. Mm. Go and watch a lot, not all, a lot of people who mm. say, oh, I, I used to be a Christian. Huh. Oh, when we were Christians. Oh. Uh, I remember the days we were Christians. I'm now an ex-Christian. Go and watch most of them. The point of declension hmm. was at the point that there was something they desired they to do that the Bible does not allow them. Hmm. It's from that point they begin to look for ways out. What is leading them at that point is they lost. Hmm. You remember, uh, was it Elisha that sent his servants? Hmm. Gehazi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and the servant said, ah, Master, <laughs> hey, you don't allow this kind of opportunity to go. To man. pass. He followed up that demand. Mm -hmm. He said, and when he got there, what did he say? Mm -hmm. He said, My master sent me. me. And the man of God asked us many mm -hmm. years ago, he said, Was he telling the truth? Yes, he was. Yeah. We it said, was his own we master. said it was a lie. <laughs> yes. Master, <you> know? <laughs> And the man of God told us, mm. he said, look, it was his master that sent him. Mm. He's lost, sent him. Mm. Elisha was not his master. If Elisha was his master, he would submit to what Elisha said. Mm. His lost was what sent him. Mm. Lost masters people's lives. Mm. Direct them. Gives them revelation, version of scriptures mm. that will suit the lost in them. Mm. And that's why every man has to know God personally and know his Bible for himself. You cannot afford to wait for Papa or Gio mm. or GS or Mama or Pastor Dilly mm. to be the one to know Bible for you. Mm. You have to know God for yourself because you will have to design because you are responsible for your life. Mm. You can't say, my pastor did not teach me like that. Mm. You can't say, he did not tell us that way. You got your Bible, you got the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I want to this opportunity to challenge every, everyone that is watching this program to set time apart for Bible study, not Bible reading. Mm. Spend time to dig out truth from the scriptures. Prayerfully studying the word to know the mind of God behind the letters. The Bible says, letter kill it. It's the spirit that gives it life. So the letters that we are reading, people who are not Christians have gone to seminaries and graduated. Mm. And they have used it to their own ruination. Mm. Because why they went was to find fault with the Bible, mm. and they will find plenty. Mm. <laughs> because the Bible says the things of the spirit are not designed mm. by those who are in the flesh. <laughs> mm. Praise God. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only spiritual person that is these are spiritual things. First Corinthians 12, 2 verse 14. Mm -hmm. So there's need for everyone who is called by the name of the Lord who believes is a child of God mm -hmm. to have personal acquaintance with the Bible mm -hmm. and with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We cannot say that enough. Praise God. Hallelujah. So having dealt with that, have an accountable partner, you need to get anointed messages mm -hmm. on the issue on which you have lost. Get anointed messages, get books that address them from proven ministers of character. Remember we read the other time, the last episode, mm. from Matthew chapter 7, mm. verse 15 to 20. He said, look for character, mm. not mm. charisma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who preachers Ooh. are, is what's, is, important. Is what's important, not just what, what they say. say. So, you need to, to, to get messages. You need to, to understand what is happening within that area of knowledge in the Word of God. Mm. You need to put focus on it. You know, X-ray. Mm. Not even X-ray. Uh, Phototherapy. What, Phototherapy, thank you. It's just light. The only thing is that the concentration mm. of that light on the particular spot is what kills what is killing the person. That's really potent. So you must focus the light of God's word. Mm. Focus the light of God's word mm. on that area of your life. Mm. Concentrate on it. Mm. The word of God that deals with those things, whether it's their Bible scripture verses, whether they are teachings, whether they are books, whether they are YouTube channels dedicated to those issues, give yourself to it. Mm. And don't forget we have said, mm. you can only have virtue mm. by to faith. faith by faith. This is virtue you are trying to develop now. Mm. So you need to get to understand how to use your faith to procure that virtue. Mm. By doing all. So all these things you are doing, mm. your confidence is not in what you are doing, it's in God that said this is how you are going to get it. Mm. If one does not do that, mm. <laughs> you can be sure of escaping what is what is already on the ground? It's not. It's not coming because coming, coming that we are saying makes it look like it's far. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Now it's not only that. You have to study relevant scriptures and meditate on them, because you have to give roots to the word of God. If you don't give roots to the word of God, it will just be like the parable of the sower. The Bible says some they hear, but what happens after some time? Because there is no root, they die off. Some, they were by the wayside, they never even grew. Mm. Some grew and even tried to produce, mm. but the fruit did not abide. Mm. Just because they are, they, are, they, they are on rocky grounds. Mm. So if you are going to, your, your study of the scripture and those of them will be meaningful and bring fruit and make the word to become flesh in you, you have to learn how to meditate on the word of God. Mm. That is what gives roots to it. If the plant does not have a root, how will it be able to grow and bear fruit? Mm. So that is very critical in whatever you are doing. Also, you have to learn to confess faithfully where you are going. You confess it as where you are. In Christianity, we don't say what we feel, we say what we want, based on the word of God. Mm -hmm. That is genuine confession. You speak consistent with what God has said about you. The Bible says you are a holy people, a royal generation. So if you are a king, then you tell, no, I, you see yourself in the position of a servant, you say, no, but the Bible says I'm mm. a king, mm -hmm. and that is who I, I am. am. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your sense will run riot. Mm. Your mm -hmm. brain will run like you. Mm -hmm. You are deceiving yourself. Mm. Don't worry. Say it. Believe in it. Mm. And keep on believing it as I'm you are sick. working on it. You will see that's how transformation comes. Mm. That is how you will overcome. Because we cannot just be telling you things that we happen, this we happen, this is happening, and the rest of them. Mm. Okay, where is the empowerment to deal with them? Mm. That's what we are trying to deal with now. Going back to what we have studied about from uh, Revelation 13 14 mm -hmm. and uh, James 1 13 to 15, mm. and you will see that it's needful also to watch what are the cut off the sources of supply that are sustaining that lost. What, do I give myself over to pornography? Do I give myself over to maybe I'm too covetous? Mm. Maybe I mind high things. Mm. 
Mm. Whereas the Bible says, condense it to men of real estate. Mm. So, those are the things you have to cut off the supply. Uh, for those of us who are very familiar with football, mm. there are certain teams you can easily defeat, though they are very strong, by cutting off supply to certain players. Mm. If you don't allow them to be fed, that it's thing will yeah. die. <laughs> you will destroy the thing. So, if you, don't, if you keep supplying strength to your lust, mm. you cannot overcome it. Mm. You have to staff it. And that means that when you feel like doing it, mm. you deliberately look at... That was what the sense of old applied, Hebrews 11. Mm. The Bible says, mm. if they had minded where they are coming from, they would have they the opportunity have to go back. back. But because they were looking forward mm. to a better city, mm. whose maker and builder is God, mm. then... No they opportunity to no go opportunity. back. There was no such thing. They kept pressing. Mm. They kept looking forward. If you are not looking forward, there are certain steps of faith you can never take. Hmm. Never. Mm. That is where we need to adjust what we are seeing. Because a man is trained to what he keeps seeing. Mm. If you keep seeing yourself that you will never come out of it, then you will never come out of it. Mm -hmm. Until you change what you are seeing. A man is trained to what he keeps seeing. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Clears that out. Mm. You become what you keep seeing. The mirror principle. Mm. So you have to be mindful of what you are saying, because mm. these are real issues that we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. Beyond just there is earthquake in Japan, there is a tornado and tsunami in uh, Indonesia. These are the ones that affect your preparedness mm. for the coming of the Lord. Mm. You need to be sure that whatever it is that you are permitting that is fueling and strengthening that loss, you yes. cut it off, and that's where accountability partner comes in. That's where accountability partner okay. comes in. Okay. Somebody to help you, to check you, mm. to encourage you, to correct you, mm. to help you to just come out of it. Mm. Somebody you are totally open to on the mm. matter. Mm. Even when you miss it, mm. my friend, I've missed it again. Mm. Mm. Uh, I need help. I need encouragement. Mm. And, you know, whatever it is. Mm. You know, somebody that we also go all out to say, oh, I got this good book on this matter. Mm. All this same sex feeling you are having. Mm. I had a guy mm. who has overcome it. Mm. This is the book he wrote. I hope it will help you. But you don't know what you're going through because you just want to appear so holy. Mm. How will they help you? Mm. I'm not saying you go and tell the whole world. Sure. But you must have people you are vulnerable to. Mm. And you are willing also to, 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 to be submissive to. Mm. So that you can overcome these things. Mm. These are the real issues that we need to deal with beyond just uh, quoting scriptures. This mm. will happen, this will happen, that will happen. Mm. Praise God. Amen. So we need also to get counsel. Like I said. It could be through books, like I've mentioned, but there are flesh and blood people around you. Mm. If you open your eyes, you will see people who have overcome it, mm. or people who God has given grace in understanding how to deal with such things. Mm. There are people who give people, God gives people different graces. You have to be able to locate those that God has given such graces and get to know what they have to say about those matters mm. and be willing to be cancelled and to be taken along the way. Mm. You know, they take your hand and, and lead, walk, lead, walk you out of that place mm. where you have found yourself. Mm. So there is no problem that you cannot solve because God says with God, the Bible says with God, all things are possible. But the problem is that we have a bad mentality when we believe that, oh, that's how God made me. So mm. what can I do about it? It's, it's not my fault. God mm. just has to take me the way I am. Yes, he has taken you the way you are, but he doesn't want to, to leave you the way you are. He took you the way you are to the intent that he might make you a better person. Mm. And we, until we cooperate with him using our will, that will never happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So those are some of the things that, but very importantly, mm. any issue of loss you need to deal with, mm. you have to take it from the angle of your company. The angle of your company? Yes, your company. Okay. Which company are you keeping? That could even be what is supplying the strength if you are trying to contend with your inability to, to fast, all right, and you are working in a, with a, in a company mm. where gluttony is the order of the day, mm. you're not helping yourself. You are, mm. It's mm. like you are, you are killing yourself. You are feeding your, your, your enemy. Mm. <laughs> so you have to watch it. Mm. First Corinthians 15, 33. Mm. The Bible says, Evil communication, corrupts evil company, 
corrupt. So that means you can have even, even when you have good manners, you will be corrupted. Not talk of when you are dealing with a bad manner. How much more you will be strengthened mm. in that? Do you get it? Even if you have good manners, the mm. Bible says if you keep bad complaint, it will corrupt you, it. It's corrupt it. Mm. Do you get it? Yes. Right. So one that is very fearful mm. is Proverbs thirteen twenty. Mm. Proverbs thirteen twenty. Are we reading it? Uh, sir? It should be twenty. Yes. Proverbs okay. thirteen. Yes. He said, he said, a wise man, mm. he that walketh with the wife not will be wise. Mm. He said, but a companion of fools shall be will destroyed. not be foolish. Mm. Shall be destroyed. He that walketh with the wise will be wise. Mm. But a companion of a fool will not become foolish. Mm. He will be destroyed. Ruined. Mm. <laughs> is that not fearful? Mm. It would have been better if he is just foolish. Mm. Like the wise man that mm -hmm. became wise. Mm -hmm. But this guy that is walking with a that means he's not a fool when mm -hmm. he started. He wasn't mm -hmm. a fool when he started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's not walking with a fool. Mm -hmm. Now it will end up in, in perdition. Mm -hmm. So the company will keep largely sticks to how we live. Mm -hmm. Some people have said, I've not seen in scripture, but to a large extent, I've seen it play out that you are average of the five closest people to you. Mm -hmm. Scripture speaks to it indirectly. This same scripture we have quoted. Speak to it in, in mm. other words, your company matters. Mm. That's the summary of it. Your company matters. The people you relate to, the people you associate with, the kind of people you take counsel from. Psalm chapter 1 says a lot about that. All those things, they matter in determining your worldview, mm. in determining your values. Mm. They say, show me your friends, and I will show tell you who you are. So that means that if, there, if, if, if you are in the midst of the people who are not having the kind of world life view. that you want to live, mm. the values and the worldview that you, want, you think you have, they don't say you are strong. Mm. Because the Bible cannot be lying. Mm. The Bible does not say if you are very strong <laughs> and you work with a fool, you will not You'll be destroyed. He mm. <laughs> said, anyone that works the fool will be destroyed. Mm. So I'm saying, watching our company will mm. do, go a long way in helping us to be able to overcome our diverse lust. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think we can move to verse 3 now, wow. to 5. That's a lot. First Timothy, chapter 4. First Timothy, chapter 4. Yes. And now to verse 5. 3 to 5. All right, sir. I'll just do a short one on that. Okay. I'm reading King James. Where? Okay. Forbidding to marry and command... He's talking about the kind of doctrine that those people believe. Correct. Yes. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and, and prayer. My summary for those three verses. Okay. Watch out for those who forbid what, what God commands and command what God forbids. Hmm. It's very short. Those who forbid what, what God, God commands, commands and commands what, what God, God forbids. forbids. This is exactly what I'm Opposite. Opposite. God says, that too obvious? God says marriage hmm. is honorable. Hmm. They say... If you really, really, really want to get it right, hmm. you don't need, you don't have to marry. Hmm. So it's not actually as obvious as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually subtle, but it's contrary. Hmm. 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 Marriage is honorable. Hmm. You say it's not honorable if you really, really want to serve God very well. But God said hmm. it is honorable. Hmm. Wow. Watch out for such people who forbid what God commands and command what God forbids. Mm. Verse 6. Hmm. Verse 6. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, Whoa. thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith, and, and of good doctrine, doctrine whereunto thou hast attained. 
but refuse profane and old wives' fables. Let's talk about that a little bit. Verse 6. So you should remind the brethren, what we are doing, is uh, even without you telling us, that makes us good ministers. Praise <laughs> <laughs> God. But that's what we are reminding Amen. you now. That's what we are reminding you. Mm. So you. You have been nourished of the word of faith mm. and good doctrine. I want, to, I want to talk, I will talk a little bit about doctrine here. Okay. You see that doctrine is mentioned in this chapter alone three times. Mm. In the King James Version of the Bible, the word doctrine is used 28 times in the New Testament. Mm. About 18 times, 16 times of the 28 times. Mm. The 16 of them appeared in the pastoral epistles. Mm. First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus. Mm. That's over 57 percent of the time that it appears in the entire New Testament, appeared in only pastoral epistles. That tells you of the great need mm. for the ministry of pastors at the end of time. Mm. I'm not talking about just nomenclature. Mm. You know, everybody is pastor now. We have mm. pastor of, for rat, mm. pastor for sweeping, pastor for fishing water. Everybody is pastor. Mm. I'm talking about those who are called to the ministry of pastor. Mm. They have a lot of role to play in the issue of doctrine. That's why the issue of doctrine kept recalling in the pastoral epistles. Hmm. Because the greatest burden of doctrine, doctrinal teaching mm -hmm. is on the shoulders of pastors hmm. and teachers. So we need that ministry as never. But that is the mission nobody wants to identify with because it doesn't... Razzmatazz. Yeah, it doesn't have this hype hmm. around it. Because it is doctrine that the enemy will capitalize upon. Mm. What did he say they will believe? This is the spirit, mm. doctrines of, of the... Devils. It's because people are not entrenched in the mm. doctrine of God. Mm. That is why the doctrine of the devil, they will, they will take it up. and there is going to be a big deal to them. Mm. We need the ministry of pastors. And many who are pastors have turned themselves to another thing mm. in order to give people what they want. Mm. We now are operating what they call consumer, consumer, uh, whatever, consumer Con friendly, consumer friendly gospel churches. That is what we are running now. We are running consumer gospel, consumer, consumer friendly, friendly churches. churches. Oh, what do they like to hear? We don't want to offend them because we need to build a big cathedral and we need their money. Mm. That's what we are seeing. Consumer centered. Mm. We focus on them. They are the one that they tell me everything that we do and we don't do. But I think somebody owned the church. Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And it should be the one that's leading the church. So we need to be wary of the issues of. The, have you ever met Christians? Uh, uh, okay, maybe there will be a test for you. Have you met Christians that said, I don't discuss doctrine? Yes, I have. Are you sure? Yes, I have. Very sure. Yes, I have. If you have not, you have not been evangelizing. It's very simple. Mm. I don't discuss doctrine. So what are you discussing? <laughs> the Bible says in 2 Timothy, mm. can we read this? 2 Timothy 3 verse 16. Mm. He said all scripture is given, is given mm. by inspiration and is profitable number one for doctrine. Mm. So what are you discussing? Mm. Arsenal and Basa. Mm. Buari and Tinubu. <laughs> Can you see our shame? Mm. You don't discuss doctrine. What do you discuss? Mm. I when I hear each time I hear it's like, what is happening? And these are children of God. Mm. But because they have not been taught, they have not passed through the real ministry of a pastor. Mm. It is exhortation they hear every Sunday. Some just listen to stories. Mm. That they can just hear on Oprah Winfrey show. That's what they hear every Sunday. Mm. So why will he give it to doctrine? Mm. And it's going to show at the end of time, as I'm going to show you later in Second Timothy. Mm. They say I don't discuss doctrine. The Bible says the scriptures are primarily for doctrine. Mm. Then you cannot talk about correction, you can talk about reproof, you can talk about instruction in righteousness, so that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. So, if you don't discuss doctrine, what do you don't discuss? And that is a setting up for
for this time that the seeding spirit will come. So if you don't discuss doctrine, doctrine, how do you get to know doctrine? And you're not supposed to just be, have no doctrine, you're supposed to be established in the doctrine. Mm. You are supposed to be able to pass it to others. Mm. I was sharing at a forum, and mm. I said, look, God has given the body of Christ people who are called and anointed to be passed, to be teachers. Mm. They were also all called to teach. Mm -hmm. mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are people who have been specially called and anointed to be pastors, mm. but we are also all called to so, provide sh shepherding to, for people around us at different locations and different places. So we respect those offices. We respect them and we value that we need them. Mm. And even that we are all called to teach does not make us all teachers. Mm. But we all have a responsibility to, to let work. others know what we know. So if we are not discussing doctrine, what do you discuss? Then it must be fables. Hmm. Oh yeah, it can only be fables. That's the primary reason for this for doctrine. And by the time you go from doctrine, if you say reproof, you say, hey, don't judge me. <laughs> the Bible says that shall not judge. Mm. Did you hear you? Mm. If you don't judge, you will judge. Mm. Mm. Finish the scripture now. Mm. Say judge not, that you be not uh, Say the same measure with which you met, it shall be meted unto you. That's what God is saying. And you go ahead and go to John chapter whatever it is. He said, okay, seven. John chapter seven. He said, judge not, don't judge. He said, judge righteous judgment. Don't judge by 724. John 724. Mm. Check it for us. I, I want to be sure. Okay. He said, do not judge by actual appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Is it 724? Yes, it is. Good. So, he said, judge the righteous judgment. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 6 says, if there is an issue among you, are you not supposed to judge? Is there no wise man among you to judge his mother? Judge Don't you know you are going to judge angels? Mm. Hello? And for your information, when I tell you that if you believe in Jesus, you go to heaven, and your sins forgive, are forgiven you and the rest of them, it's judgmental, but it's not my judgment. Mm. Mm. When a, when a judge in the court says mm. you are hereby sentenced to 15 years imprisonment mm. based on so and so and so and so and so mm. things that have been levied against you, mm -hmm. he's not the one judging you. It's Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He's speaking for all of us mm -hmm. based on what we agreed as our constitution. Mm. Mm. So you can't tell the judge, don't judge me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you are not going to be judged, you won't be in our country. Sure. Do you understand? Sure. So, but that is the lie that the enemy has sold us. These are, I'm showing you the reason why God gave mm. this word. Mm. And we are saying don't use the word for its purpose. Mm. Can only use it to encourage me. Mm. Tell me that I can become oh, a billionaire of a nice. I'll sack my boss. Mm. That's what I want to hear. Do you get this? Mm. These are spirits at work at the end of time. By the time you remove doctrine, you remove reproof. By the time conscience is pricking you, mm. you are being reproved. Mm. Reproof is just like you remove the whatever from your eyes and you show to it, ah, what you are doing is not good. Mm. That is what reproof is. All right? Mm. That's what reproof is. Mm. Then they say, it's for correction. Ah, that's even worse. Mm. Are you telling me that you are better than me? This earlier than thou attitude. Mm. So mm. don't bring that to me. Mm. Now, that's an instruction. instruction Who do you instruct? Jesus. Somebody that doesn't know. Mm. Are you trying to say that you know more than my pastor? Mm. Pride. My pastor did not tell me that. So are you, use, are, you, are you trying to say that you know more than Because you are trying to tell me what to do. But the Bible says, I'm not the one telling you. The it word. is the word. It's God. Mm. If I say, I think you should, that's me. Mm. But if the scripture says, and I tell you what the scripture says, you should thank God that God is using me to talk to you. I'm not the one talking to you. Mm. God is talking to you through me. Mm. So when people come with this idea of don't judge me, mm. don't judge me, who am I to judge you in the first case? Mm. To the extent that you don't know, mm. your judgment will be faulty. Sure. But God that knows all things mm. has given us his word. Parameters. So that at any given time, mm. we can know what is mine. It's on any matter. And we can remind ourselves and say, hey, sister, sit up. Mm. Because... You are not, you're not, what, you are, you are, you are not aligning with what God has said. Mm. You should be thankful that somebody, God is using somebody to bring mm. that correction. These are the reasons why God gave the scriptures. Mm. 
And these are the things we don't want to hear. Mm. So, how will we not easily mm. be seduced and deluded mm. by seducing spirits? Mm. So, we need to take heed to the matters of doctrine. It's very critical. Mm. It is extremely critical. What is doctrine? I would like to read what I put down as doctrine. Okay. Because it's very important. Because I don't know what people... It says it's systematic. Okay, sorry. That is not true. Uh, I've not been really using my notes. Okay. Doctrine, a principle of position or the body of principles in a branch of knowledge. Okay. Let me repeat. A principle or position or the body of principles. I prefer that. The body of principles in a branch, branch of, knowledge, of knowledge or a system of belief. Mm. So that is why you see that in the Bible, mm. most of the time, when you see the word doctrine mm -hmm. and it's referring to God, godly doctrine, mm -hmm. it is hardly pluralized. Okay, because it's a system. Eh? It's a system. Mm. There are different teachings, mm -hmm. but it is still under one system. Mm. Like your body is one, but it has circulatory system, respiratory mm -hmm. system, mm -hmm. reproductive system mm -hmm. in one body. Mm -hmm. That is why it is always called doctrine. But when he's talking about the devil, he's always talk about it, talking about this in the plural. Doctrines of, of devil. devils. Praise God. Hallelujah. Another one says, a particular principle or position or policy taught or advocated as of a religion or government. Can you take that again? All right. It is a particular principle okay. or position mm -hmm. or policy okay. taught or advocated. I love okay. taught or advocated mm. as of a religion or a government. Okay, policy. Yes. So that's what doctrine is. Mm. The, that means it encompasses the whole face. The policy of the kingdom. The policy of the kingdom. Mm. Being taught so that people can be entrenched in it. If people don't know it, they won't subscribe to it. Mm. But what, what people are saying, I don't discuss doctrine is because they are not willing to subscribe to the, to the policy of the kingdom. Mm. And yet they want to be claiming the kingdom. And I, 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 that's why I love God. Mm. He said, let any, everyone that named the name of the Lord depart. So you say you are a Christian. Show it by departing from iniquity. Mm. He, he said, 2 Timothy 2, 19. Mm. He said, let everyone that named the name of the Lord depart. depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. Don't just be naming the name of the Lord. Depart. Mm. Mm. And that Matthew 7 that we read in part the other time mm. is telling us, saying that if you can, you can say, Lord, Lord, I like the way message puts it again. Mm. Message mm. says, he said, get out of here. He said, you, use, you only use my name. Mm. Like a password. To, 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 as a password. He said, you use my name to make yourself important. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> that is what he's saying. Mm. You make, just use me to make yourself important. Mm. The fact that you know my, how to use my name like a password mm. does not mean that I reckon with you. Mm. So mm. That's what, that is what is happening when we say we don't discuss doctrine. Mm. Don't judge me. Uh, you can't tell me what to do. I'm an adult. I'm not telling you. I'm not judging you. I'm not doing it. The word of God is doing it. And that is what the Bible says. The son will not judge anybody. The father will not judge anybody. He said, it's the word that will judge you. Mm. At a point, he said, the father has committed judgment to the son. Mm. And the son transferred it to the word. Mm. <laughs> mm. So if this is the marking scheme, we better start marking ourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. He said, if we judge ourselves, we shall mm. not be judged. Mm. Praise God. Indeed. Please don't subscribe to the spirit mm. of the end time. Some of us, I know, we subscribe unconsciously mm. to these spirits. This spirit of don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. When has judgment become bad? What is judgment? Judgment is discrimination. Oh, this is a phone. Mm -hmm. This is paper. Mm. This is camera. That's judgment. Indeed. Every assertive statement is judgmental. Mm. I'm a woman. I'm it's a, a woman. Judgment. It's a judgment. You are making distinction. So where come this evil spirit of don't judge me? Mm. Praise mm. God. Hallelujah. If you do well, won't you want to be judged? Mm. Mm. Hello? <laughs> eh? mm. You mm. know you are the most brilliant in the class and you are the one that performed the best. Mm. You will be wishing that mm. position is Should added, not mm. just that... Or everybody pass. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. Pass, pass, pass yes. now. What is it now? <laughs> <laughs> so, by the time you are afraid of being judged, you, or you are already self condemning. Mm -hmm. mm. These are evil spirits that have entered into the church. Unfortunately, unfortunately, even 
people who are sincere are entering because of ignorance. Mm. And that's why we are sighing, we are crying now on the outside. Having sighed over and again mm. in, the, in the private, mm. that we should not subscribe mm. to these evil forces at the end of time that want to make us to, to have our motto as the motto of the Satanist. Mm. Ask me what it is. What is it? Do as thou will it. Whatever you like. Do as thou will it. That is the motto of Satanism. Mm. He didn't say do as Satan wants because he knows as you keep doing what you want, you Satan is gaining control. Mm. Ultimately, you will serve Satan. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Mm. That is what becomes the portion of those that say, don't judge me. Don't tell me what to do mm. because I'm an adult. Mm. Don't judge me. I don't, I don't need that. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, I don't discuss doctrine. Mm. Oh, that's, that's the way you believe. Okay, let's check the Bible. Mm. Let's check the Bible. Mm. Do, do I want to believe error? So let's check it. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, I think I've made my point very clearly mm. that doctrine is so crucial. Mm. I mean extremely, extremely crucial. At this time. That we cannot afford not to discuss doctrine. Mm. If your doctrine, you are so afraid of discussing doctrine, it means that either your doctrine is not sound or, or you are not sound shocked. in the doctrine. And that's, that's a call for action. Mm. That means you have to be sure. what you're If you're not sure, how much can you defend it? And that leads me to a very critical vision okay. that God showed to me about apostasy at the other time. Mm. What I saw was completely different from what I had taught. Mm. I saw a group of extremely young and intelligent boys and girls mm. being schooled, trained by Satan. Just like God trained David in the wilderness and unleashed him at the right time in the town. As we are talking there in camp, spiritually. Being equipped and empowered to cause believers to lose their faith. It's, it's, I wish everybody would see it. A situation where somebody will just pass you by on the road, he's not talking to you. Mm. <laughs> if there is God, why will this water be here? And that's all. Because those words are anointed by the devil. Mm. Somebody is not established in the faith. So it's true. What what's what I'm doing here in the first case? Why can't God send one angel? Though? Mm. God, if you are God, come and send it. If you can't put it out there, there is no God. Mm. From that point... The person is gone. It's gone. It, no, it, it's, the face starts start going Depleting. down. Depleting. Depleting. Start going down. Start going down. It's so powerful. And God told me that the antidote to that is apologetics. Mm. Can we read First Peter? Yes. Three, verse 15. That... No matter how sincere a person is, the forces that are coming against the church will be such that those that cannot defend their faith will give up their faith. Mm. King James, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Thank you. That is apologetic. Mm. In Philippians 1, mm. I think it should be verse 6. Paul said, I'm set for the defense of the gospel. That's apologetics. Is it six? Seven. Seven, thank you. Seven. I'm set for the defense of the gospel. That's what apologetics is about. It's about defense of faith. Defending what you believe and hold there. That's what it's all about. And you can't defend it blindly or else you'll be ashamed. Mm. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. What happens is that those who are not studying now, mm. when those torrents come, mm. they will be ashamed. Mm. And when they are ashamed, they will throw away their faith. Mm. Because these things are on us. By the grace of mm. God, in some of this, I will put some insects in some of these broadcasts. Mm. So that people can see what we are talking about. Mm. The reality of it is not, is not coming. It is air. Mm. 
I know it's going to get worse, but it's already here. Mm. We are seeing it already. To use the word trickles mm. would be an understatement, but it's mm. already here. But not as much as it's going to be here. Mm. So we still have a small window to get ourselves ready to learn to defend what exactly is salvation. Mm. Am I really saved? What does the Bible, how does the Bible say a man should be saved? Mm. I know you have been taught, but you get to a point that you have to check what you are taught. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you have to be able to separate the wheat from the tears. Mm. You have to be able to sort the holy from the unholy. Mm. You have to be able to sort what is man and what is God. Mm. One of the problems we have in this part of the world is that we have not been able to separate the wise man culture from the biblical culture mm. because the wise man brought the Bible to us. Mm. So everything the wise man does, we think is scriptural. Okay. Scriptural. Why? We did not bother to check. Or we just are so careless, we don't mind. I'm yet to see anywhere in the Bible where the Bible says you must wear white on the day of your wedding. Mm. But these things are unwritten laws now in the church. Mm. And you have to use a ring. Mm. Are you saying we're not used to I'm not saying it's wrong. I have a ring on my hands. Mm. I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm saying we should question these things. Mm. We should question them. Mm. Because one, one, one reason that people are found why a lot of people are going to apostasy now is because they have been living in, in a cocoon. Mm. Mm. Completely enclosed. enclosed and preserved from any attack. Mm. And when it comes... So when it comes, they don't know how to undo it. Mm. We don't allow our children to hear the opinion against our faith. Mm. <laughs> because we can't defend what we believe. Mm. So when they meet a professor in the university, it is only one lecture that sweeps them off their feet. Mm. And they say, oh, now I realize there's no God. Mm. And you are wondering a boy I raised in church. You didn't raise mm. him in church. Mm. You raised him in your ideas. Mm. Mm. And you never had the opportunity to challenge to, them. To engage. Mm. Because you are afraid. You can't answer his question. You don't have to answer all the questions. You are not God. Mm. Mm. Take the ones you can and go and study and make refer. Mm. You, you see, this is, that's why we are a community. Mm. Even in professional life, you are allowed to refer. It doesn't mean you are inferior. It doesn't mean you are a bad person. It doesn't mean you are not competent. There, it gets to a point that you have to refer mm. because it has transcended where you are your an expert, your own expertise. Mm. So these are the things. A child that is well, far more exposed than you may ask questions you can't answer. Mm. There is no shame about it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's an opportunity for you also to grow. Mm. <laughs> so the oh, two yes. of you go and learn. Mm. Say, ah, this was the question. I, 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 even I was not satisfied the way I was answering. So mm. I, I think we should ask check. you that you know, you know better. Mm. And whatever you have been shown must align. Be from the word. Align with the word. Mm. As you are also pressing into God. You see, <laughs> I pray we just know the worth of what we are saying now, mm. because definitely everybody will know the worth of this in retrospect. Mm. Definitely, for sure, mm. and it's going to be on record. But I just pray that we will not wait until Amen. it's too late Amen. before we take these things very seriously. Amen. Very seriously. Mm. Why is doctrine very important? I'm back to doctrine. Okay. Because there's a reason why Paul kept talking about doctrine, 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 doctrine mm. in that scripture. In, 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 in the pastoral epistles. Mm -hmm. Doctrine, doctrine, all over. Look at how small. First Timothy is just four, six, six chapters. chapters. Of few verses each. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy, few are yet, mm -hmm. both in number of verses mm -hmm. and chapters. Mm -hmm. Titus, only three chapters, very short chapters. And yet, 57% of the time, of the the time that the word doctor appears. was used in the New Testament appeared there. So there's a lot on the hands of pastors mm -hmm. to deal with mm -hmm. when it comes to the issue of doctrine that people are despising. Mm -hmm. So why doctrine? Why is it important? Mm. Let's check Second John, chapter verse nine. I want to show you why it is very. Just this one will be all fine. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ has not God. <laughs> he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. I think the question is answered. Seller. So, 
<laughs> the doctor, the, the, the doctrine decides whether you have God or not. And that's mm -hmm. what somebody said we not discuss. So that means you don't, you, don't, you, don't want to be, you don't want to be sure whether you are having God or not. <laughs> In fact, the next verse says, if any come to you and bring not this doctrine, don't beat him receive farewell. him not into your house, and don't beat him neither farewell. lead him Godspeed. Hmm. That is how serious doctrine is. And that is why Satan is coming through doctrine. I want to put you on notice mm. that throughout the old, old, the old, old Testament, the issues they had were with false prophets. Mm. In the New Testament, we have bigger challenge with false teachers mm. because that's what we doctrine. Mm. Mm. That's why Second Peter, Jude, all of them, the mm -hmm. verse is more about teachers. Mm. Those who are mm -hmm. going to we are going to go we are going down to, the doctrinal to issues. Thank you. Because mm. if you prophet light to somebody, if you prophet light to somebody, mm. it's just a thing. Mm. When you teach somebody a false doctrine, you have take, you can take his God. Wrong policy. And not just wrong policy. Mm. When you when somebody believes a false doctrine mm -hmm. and thinks it's right doctrine, mm. not only can you take God from that person, he will be so entrenched in it. He propagates. He it. propagates it. So false teachers are more mm. dangerous than false prophets. Mm. So they multiply themselves. Thank you. And the people they raise are more solid. Somebody you prophet lied to can discover that it was a lie that you told mm. in the next two days and just say, don't mind that one. But somebody you entrenched in a lie is the one that will look for more reasons why the lie is true. Mm. And will consolidate himself in it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. That is why James 3 said, we should be careful that all of us should be teachers. Because mm. the condemnation of teachers will be mm. more. Do you understand the reason now? Mm. <laughs> he didn't talk about prophets. Mm. He talked about teachers. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know you are not perfect. I understand. Mm. But you need to be careful mm. not to mislead God's people. Mm. You need to be careful not to deliberately lead them into error or to teach something because you are guilty of it. Mm. and teach error to the people so that they will not challenge you. Mm. Pastor, you taught us like this, you are living like this. Mm. Because you know your life does not match what the truth. Say. No, it doesn't match the truth of God's word. Mm. So mm. you not change what God says mm. so that it can fit your life mm. so that nobody will challenge you. Mm. Mm. Don't let's forget, they may not know, but God knows. Mm. And these are souls that Jesus died for. Mm. And I always tell people, if God can kill his son for these people, he can kill anybody. God bless you. Amen. People of God, these are heavy and weighty words for us to bear in mind. The importance of doctrine at this time. And before that, how to deal with issues around lust that predispose us to delusions. I encourage us, as we will all do on this side as well, to look at ourselves in this mirror of God's 